There we go. Hi there, everybody. Welcome, welcome. One moment. Gotta adjust that. So, I hope that everybody is doing well and you had a good weekend. Uh, I know my weekend was certainly interesting. Uh, I do apologize for not being able to uh, stream this past Saturday. I did fully intend to, but unfortunately, my uh, my my body disagreed with me when it came to wanting to do a stream. So yeah, turn down the gain. I assume that's the microphone gain. All right, here we go. Wait, maybe a little more. There we go. How's that? One more. Okay. Hopefully that's good. But um, either way, yeah. Uh, so like I said, I I fully intended on playing Saturday morning. I just felt like garbage though. It was so, so bad. Um, I was just really, really feeling sick. Um, it's, it's odd because I wasn't like traditionally sick. I guess you would say, because I, um, I, I actually just had a really nasty back pain thing going on. It was really unpleasant, more than anything else. I, I, I still have no idea what happened. I wish that I did, but I just no nope. clue. So. Incidentally, though, my uh, my Sunday was really fun. I went uh, I went with my family to a Renaissance fair, and so that was really cool. I had a really good time with that. Stop accepting apples from old women. <laughs> yeah, that may be the way to deal with this. That's for sure. I just I don't I I don't know how helpful that would be. That's the problem. But either way, I mean, overall, it was a, a pretty decent weekend for me. Just aside from, you know, yesterday sucking. Or uh, Saturday sucking. Like I said, yesterday was pretty fun, actually. I got cool stuff at the Renaissance Fair. So that was good. Uh, today, though, was pretty rough. It was a, it was a difficult time with work. Um, I ran into some really frustrating problems that, oddly enough, were completely not my fault. Like, 100% not my fault. I was legitimately shocked. Shocked, I tell you. So, if anybody's curious and knowledgeable, um, for those of you who have worked in coding, uh, you may be familiar with the idea of having essentially code that kind of gradually gets fixed and you might be working on one thing that you're trying to fix specifically while other stuff is getting fixed without you kind of knowing about it like exactly how it's getting fixed or what's going on and that's that's you know par for the course that's what happens that's how it works in my case what ended up happening was um, some of the stuff that I was working on was heavily reliant on other things that people were working on and some of the stuff that they were working on ended up getting moved to a new location and because it got moved to a new location when I went and got the so-called updated info from them it no longer worked and it took me it, it, so it took me and like the CTO of the company a solid like three hours to figure out what the F went wrong. It was just so annoying. Such a dumb thing. Hey look, Mathew and his sub, or resub I should say. Thank you so much. Great to have you. See, and Mathewin can attest to how fun the renaissance fair is. She went there. Incidentally, one thing that I, uh, I found or that I, that I saw at the, uh, when it came to the, the fair was 
I, like, I can potentially work there, which I thought could potentially be, like, super fun. Because I'm a big giant nerd for all of that kind of stuff. And, like, I love doing my D&D &D stuff and all of that kind of thing. And I was like, this would be a perfect excuse for me to practice my accents. It'd be so much fun. That said, I do kind of doubt that it'll actually happen. But either way, dropped eight hundred dollars on a sword. Good lord, that's insane. Although not really insane. It may shut down. I don't know. You, you can definitely spend an awful lot of money at Ren Fairs. That is for sure. Especially if you've got like really good crafters who actually like know what they're doing and make good stuff. It's, uh, it's really easy to spend an awful lot. I still think that they're super fun though, and I, I had a really good time. With them, so it was nice. And like I said, I, I probably will end up going again at some point. Whether I go to this one or the next one remains to be seen. So. And so for me, as far as like enjoyment goes, I've not been to a huge number of run fairs. So I, I mean, yes, the ones I've been to, I've all, I've enjoyed them all, but I simply have not been to a large number of them. I think I've been to now like four in my entire life. It's definitely not the most impressive thing. It's just such a fun little concept, and they're such cool things. Not to mention, it's it's great as a uh, as for for us at least. It was kind of our our first post COVID thing that we've done. Well, I mean, semi post COVID. Obviously, COVID is still going around in there. But this was really our first major family outing that we've done since you know 2020. <laughs> And I, I thought it was a it was a really nice balance because you know it's held at fairgrounds so there's a huge amount of space and on top of that it's just you know it, it's just a, a cool concept in general. Ah. But still, eight hundred dollars for a sword. I'm trying to think what you could do. Oh my god, that that reminds me. So, um. I mean, there, there certainly was stuff there that cost well over 800 bucks, don't get me wrong. But there was one thing in particular that I remember. There was a guy who was at um, one of the armorer stalls. And this, this one happened to be focused on weapons. And the guy was looking at a uh, Gladius, Gladys? I, Gladius? I don't know how to say it. But it's the, um, the stereotypical gladiator sword essentially and the guy was sitting there he was like oh you know this isn't typical you know renaissance era thing this is like ancient rome and stuff like do you guys have paperwork for this and i was like dude are you serious do you really think that anything at a ren fair would be in any way like real <laughs> like in that sense I, I was just like come on man that's just why why would you ever think that I don't know, to me it just seemed like the, the goofiest thing to think. 
It's like all of the stuff at this place literally came like sealed in boxes. And with like a giant thing that says like replica on it. It's like, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe the guy was just being optimistic and thought he found treasure among the trash or something like that. Who knows? But on that note, I had a, a pretty fun time with D&D um, the other day too. So that was cool. Oh, yeah. Incidentally, anybody anybody else have fun stuff that they did? Either today or over the weekend? I don't know. Like I said, mine was just all in all dramatic. Both the weekend and today. And I don't mean the artist the weekend. <laughs> I need to contact a lawyer for the wish spell. Oh, I believe it. I certainly believe it. I'm gonna need somebody to look over all of this this weirdness that you people are trying to do. I'm trying to pull one over upon me. You 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 all are trying to just end my campaign way before it's supposed to be over. It's not cool. I do not approve. Oh, that's right, I got dragon fire here. Go! Go! The word temporal might come up. Oh, good lord. You know that would that's that's an interesting concept. Making a making a DD &D character that's a that's a lawyer. But you know, like uh like a high fantasy lawyer. And it's like their their main work is in warlock contracts. I, I can totally see that. I think that would be a fun thing. Well, it's just like over the weekend we had the uh, uh, oh what was it? It was the the path of the giant milkmaid barbarian. <laughs> a law domain cleric. Yeah, see there you go. I, I will say I'm not 100% sure that a Law Domain Cleric was intended to be a full-fledged lawyer. But I'm down for it. Incidentally, I I have to admit, like, you know, I, I know it's insanely selfish and everything. But if my, if my game ends up ending because people have their super fancy, non-goofable wording for a wish spell, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> I'm going to be proud and impressed, but also upset. Incidentally, while at the at Ren Fair, we, uh, we, we did get the giant turkey leg of, you know, unrealism. So that was fun. I feel like you kind of have to, you know? It's like a tradition. Incidentally, we also got Polish sausage because, I, I mean, it. well, I guess Poland in its current form didn't exist at the time. Because this is meant to be, is it the 10th or the 11th century? Somewhere around there. Uh, I, I'm not, that deep of a history buff to really know all of that stuff. Still, it is fun. And incidentally, I don't know if you all could tell, but I got a, um, a ring light for my, for my thing here, and that's why I don't have, you know, the sun as imagined by a four-year-old in the corner there. I think it's at least a little bit better. So adorable. I love this game. Ah, dang, what did I miss? Oh! Florida. Wait, how could I get up there? I couldn't see how I could get up there. 
Let's squeeze it! Cut her. Oh, fun times. But yeah, that's... Incidentally, along the, the same lines of like the Law Domain Cleric and everything, one thing that I was thinking of uh, when I was debating about getting stuff from the, the fair was when on earth, or like where on earth, and when on earth am I ever going to wear this stuff? <laughs> like, well, like whatever it is that I end up getting, assuming I get stuff, when am I ever going to use it? And that's a big part of what got me into thinking about, like, volunteering as a Renfair person. Because, like, that would be the only time I'd ever really use it. Oh, Poland, Lithuania. Okay, there we go. So there we go. It still would have been Poland. Now, whether or not they would have had what we know as Polish sausage, or uh, maybe kielbasa, would be a, a more appropriate term. Whether they would have had that, who knows? All I know is that it was delicious. Oh, dang. Why can't we say that homie stabbed his friend? I feel like that would have been not obvious to me. So yeah, that's the thing. There weren't there aren't any new world ingredients because it's I mean it's bread, it's sausage, and then I mean sauerkraut is, you know, cabbage. So there it's not exactly anything new. Although, I mean, I guess you can have mustard on it. I don't think mustard was a new world thing. Incidentally, that's why the, uh, what's it called, the turkey legs are super unrealistic, though. Because turkeys were, were not a thing until the new world was. It is by far the most adorable game. I agree, Mathewin. Mustard was Middle Eastern, so yeah, mustard would have been around then. That would have been a thing that could have thung. Incidentally, I have yet still to uh, to play this game co-op. Not done it. Mustard's mentioned in the Bible? No way! That I had no idea. That's pretty cool, though. It's interesting. Incidentally, at the at the fair we were at, there was the very stereotypical, like, you know, religious caller dude of the understand and all that kind of stuff. That was pretty hilarious. Well, I laughed. It was, it was But you know what they didn't have? Kirby. And in the end, nothing else matters but Kirby. No, my hat! Give me! I don't want that stupid non-hat. Oh, my hat. 
So my wife actually asked me about scotch eggs because she wasn't familiar with them and I explained what it was. She was like, wow, that sounds delicious. And I was like, yeah, I've actually never had one, but I'm just aware of what they are. <laughs> we didn't end up getting one. But frankly, it would not surprise me in the least if we went back before the, uh, before the fair time was over. Not only that, but they're really not hard to make. It's, it's an egg and meat. <laughs> I mean, you really can't get a whole lot simpler than that. This is a very interesting level. That lizard seemed like he was a special lizard of some sort. I don't trust special lizards. Ever since uh, the Shadow of the Colossus, I just I have a thing about obviously special lizards. You vote yes? Wait, what are we voting yes on? Look at this sleepy Kirby, he's so cute. Wake up! That's what you get for napping at the pool. Can I make it to the pool before I fall asleep? I feel like there must be a reason for this dude to be here, right? I mean, essentially, the Sleepy Kirby is just a really elaborate healing mechanism. So, for sure, yeah, doing the, getting the cook right, I can imagine, is a, is a, a tough balance to strike. Like I said, I've never tried it. So, I, either making it or eating. So, I have not an idea. I feel like it's odd that this guy is just kind of sitting here. Like, shouldn't... I mean, this guy should be something, right? Huh. Stupid, massive blob monster. Either way, just the concept of a scotch egg is fun. Scotch bonnet? Not so much if anyone was curious. At least not for me, personally. I'm not one of those guys. Incidentally, I have always been confused by people who do the whole, like, I'm gonna eat this insanely spicy thing because it's insanely spicy. It just, it never made any sense to me. Like I said, that might just be me, but still. Voting yes on going back to tire out the wee one. I. It's not a bad idea. It is. Yes, bread. Buzz saw cutter. What? Yes, please. Incidentally, if anybody's unfamiliar with this, this is uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Lands. It's the, I mean, it's new-ish. I don't know, I don't remember exactly how new it is. Uh, but it's the, the Switch Kirby game, essentially. And I personally really like it. I think it's super adorable. And one of the shticks is that it's semi-open um, world in the sense of you've got, uh, you do have a choice of where you go and when, at least somewhat. 
But more critically, as far as Kirby is concerned, himself, you um, you have the ability to uh, to make it so that your uh, so that your uh, your hats evolve, your powers evolve. And you can get bigger and better and awesomer things, essentially. And that's the the piece that I just got a little while ago. Never not going to be funny, okay? It's just not going to happen. Seeing Kirby pipe version like flatten against the thing. Oh, I'm the wee one. Why am I the wee one? Okay, see, I feel like this is what I've needed, is the, uh, the, the water shooting who's a what's it. I have a pants. My pants is very dangerous. You must be aware of my pins. I run. I have pins. But it, it was nice as well because this particular fair that we went to is literally only like five, ten minutes away from our house. See, I knew that there was a way to do that. Bottle D friend. I see you. It's so adorable, you guys. I cannot drill. Speaking of drilling, what's the deal with Armageddon? How is it easier to train drillers to become astronauts than it is to train astronauts to become drillers? The whole thing makes Exactly zero cents, maybe even less than zero. Climb, you fool! Climb! Dang it, Kirby. Toxic wackiness seeps into the ground. I 
feel like that's... Actually, that's very realistic. Never mind. Uh, complaint withdrawn. Kirby is the ultimate hydro homie. I don't know if you all knew that, but now you do. <laughs> to be fair, you can end any campaign with a wish spell depending on what you do with it. But that's the whole point, is it's never up to me what you do or don't do. It's entirely up to you. You all have autonomy. At least that's the goal, right? Okay, so I was supposed to take a nap. See, I told you they wouldn't put that weird sleepy thing in there for no reason. Nap by the pool. What am I? Basic white girl? Staff side? Interesting. See, I got myself a new blueprint now. I'm stoked to try it. I need the lane drill, not the cool one. See how it is. I feel like I'm probably missing something really stupid. Now, I think I mentioned it before, too. This is one of the reasons I really like this game and this style of Kirby game, I should say, is it's not something I personally have seen. I haven't played every Kirby game, though, is having these like little mini stages to let you test out the powers and like the, the neat different things that you can do with them. Oh, Dragonfire!
Oh my god. Who makes a fuse this long? Like, seriously, nobody needs a fuse this long. You know, this one feels kind of unfair because you're, you're kind of like hamstrung by the relative speed of the wick or the fuse. Like you can only go as fast as the fuse is moving. I, I don't understand how you're supposed to make it move faster. Maybe that's just me. All right, let's go to the staff side. You know, it's just like the classic mechanism for making a longer game. The mirror. Or something similar. kind of sorry for the poor sleeping dude because it's like you so brutally wake him up it's like you cut him across the face he's just like what no i was just taking a nap i mean it, it's a very very rude awakening i fully admit that i will say i would never do that in person Wait, what? I can be a giant ice cream cone? Oh no, it's just a regular cone. Man, I was so excited. Taste three kinds of ice cream. Ah! Oh, I love it. Kirby is a villain. Obviously. I mean, seriously though, am I wrong? Like, homie just sitting there trying to have a little schnooze, and I'm just like, what's up, bitch? It just feels bad. Feels bad. Okay, now I'm on this weird Pac Man thing. A little yellow arrow is very helpful. I am extremely appreciative. I'm very suspicious of this wall because it has a decidedly different texture than other things. Huh. Hmm. It's very suspicious. I'll have to see if I can head back that way. After finding some. Maybe I can blast it. I mean, clearly something happened over here. Oh, I can hop in there because now I'm this shape. And I just, I don't know, violently twitch, I guess. <laughs> I 
I just sit there and wiggle really, really hard to make the thing blow up. <laughs> I, I guess that's how it works. Is anybody else hungry or is it just me? I already ate, but I didn't have much. Really, a box did that much damage to me? Whatever. I I don't often violently twitch. Only when appropriate. Wait. Doesn't happen all the time. Liars. So mean. -y. You know, I would think having these little snowmen around would make the thing heavy enough to go down. I do violence on Twitch because of video games. Well, I'm, I mean, at most, this would be like the cartoon violence thing, right? I mean, we always see that in the uh, in the ratings from ESRB. That's like rated whatever, whatever for cartoon violence. dog and a hamburger. Yum! Wild hammer. Why is the hammer wild? Now, do we think I can bash this thing and make it fall? Eh. 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 I feel like my toy hammer is underpowered. I don't know why I have this feeling. Bring it on, nobody in particular. Ugh. Get some. Now, has anybody seen more ice cream? Hey, speak of the devil. Uh, 
I was gonna say, may maybe I can like fall asleep in my desk. Is that one of the secrets? Oh, fun times with your games. You know something that's been bugging me the last few days? I have been so tired lately. I don't know what it is. It's weird. I guess I should say more tired than usual. I'm often tired, but not this time. Ah, and this is how I do it. This, this is the thing that'll fit into, uh, into that thing over there now. <laughs> I am water balloon. Fear me. Take that mushroom! Show you to just sit there and eat flan or whatever you were eating. God! The nerve of some bad guys thinking they just go around and eat flan whenever they feel like. Not in my house. I'm not a jerk, they're the jerks. Just going around eating flan like nobody's business. All right, I'm just saying if the if the fancy cone thing doesn't do anything to those, I can't imagine anything. Dang it, I only got two. I, I thought that last one would have counted. Really, with the cutter ability? Come on, man. It's... Uh, it's annoyingly specific. Like, come on. I defeated him without getting hit. I froze him twice. Come on. That's gotta be worth something. Moonlight Canyon. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do this special here. And then after this, I'm going to head back to Waddle Town because I've got, um, I, I should be able to afford at least one of the upgrades that I got. Maybe both of them, but for sure one of them. Oh, we shall see. gonna bullet block me like that? Uncouth. That's right, I said it. Good me. Oh, dang. So close. See, if I'd hit that one shot, I would have been fine. All right, back to Waddle Dee Town. Let's see if I unlocked anything. I don't think I did. 
So one of the shticks with this game is as you save more Waddle Dees who have been kidnapped, then you unlock buildings and stuff in the area. There's a fishing mini game? What? Okay, come on. I gotta play the fishing mini game. I, I gotta go fishing, you guys. Come on. I'm kind of thinking I should evolve the hammer. Like, if I have to pick just one, then I'd pick the hammer. Look at me with my little fishy hat! So adorable. <laughs> Look at me, I'm so cute. No, no. Don't go to sleep, bro! Yeah, big fish. The hour of the mallet? Oh, ha! <laughs> I get it, cause it's a hammer. You're funny. I see. I got you. That thing said that I could catch multiples in a row. Oh, I get it. It's okay. So as you get the bigger fish, you got to press more buttons. See, I'm smirk. We got this. All right, let's do this. We got this now. My little baby fish. That's fine. That's fine. Everybody got to start with the baby fish. All right. Come on, big fish. Where you at? Big fish. Okay. Well, bigger fish. I want a fish that's measured in kilograms! Don't fall asleep, Kirby! <laughs> See how much he was struggling? It was so cute! Oh, come on! Give it to me in kilos, bro! What is this, Murka? Okay, now eventually do I get a fish that's so big that it just, like, squishes me? Because I kind of want to know now. Alright, so the last one I got was, like, 8 kilos. That one was 7. I got 10 coins. So I'll try one more time, see if I get something bigger. Okay, I, I kind of want to do it again just to see, like, what was going on there. Because that was pretty hilarious. At least I don't have to go through the whole rigmarole again. Big fishy. I always found it so weird that the fish in Kirby have goggles. Like, why would a fish need goggles? Seriously, that was just about, like, the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. It was so awesome. Okay. Dang! Look at that chunky boy! So chunk.
darn right it was thick. I don't understand how that really huge fish was like 200 grams more than these other ones I've been getting. Oh man. Am I not able to get like Super Chonk anymore? Come on, Super Chonk. See, now it's like, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready for it to do the additional ones. Okay, we'll try like two more times. Look at me just sitting there fishing. I'm so cute. Like, do I have to almost fall asleep for There, look at that chonky boy. But see, it's only like 8.3. And the other ones I was getting were like 8.1. I'm just saying, the size differential does not make sense. Oh, dang it. Oh, man. Okay, I'm done now. You know that's like the chunkiest boy, though. Look at me with my big fishy! <laughs> that's so cute. I love it. Oh, man. This game is awesome. Like, seriously. It's just so amazing. All right, it is the hour of the mallet. It is upon us. Wow, hammer. You make my heart hammer. I, uh, what rhymes with hammer? Bammer? Lammer? Mammer? Mamma jammer? What? I, I look like something straight out of freaking, uh, what's it called? Um, oh my god, what's, what's the game? I, I used to play it a bunch, and now I've completely spaced out on it. Um, the... Not Kingdom Hunter. Wild Hunter, Wild Hunt. Bugger, I can't remember. This is gonna. The. Monster Hunter, that's the one. Thank you, yes. I mean, like this, like this outfit looks like something out of Monster Hunter. Incidentally, I'm waiting for the Monster Hunter board game. Should be pretty fun. <laughs> Boing! 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 You speak Danny's. <laughs> Whatever, Rev. You think I'm cool? Boing. 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 Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. Boing. Ah, oh, dang it, I'm one off. Boing. Nah! I'm so sorry. Hi, friend. Wake up, friend. Yeah, yeah, you're good. I figured you would be. This game is so awesome. I'm really mad about that fish, though. I'm sorry, but I am unreasonably upset about this. I totally should have had that giant fish. I knew it was like the most massive boy. Was this close to it. I don't want 
want a concussion. All right, here. We're going to go take a nap. And then I'm going to head out. Why do I insist on napping? Because it is adorable. Just look at it. Look how cute. How can you not say that's adorable? If you say that's not adorable, I'll show you a lie. Okay. Well, that's it. So here we'll do we'll do my last squats, and then we're gonna head over. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. Take care. Stay safe. Be well. Um, I will say, as of right now, I'm planning on being back on Saturday. But as we all saw this past weekend, it may not happen for one reason or another. It does look like it's going to be a pretty brutal week at work. I'm hoping that that's not going to lead to a, uh, a non-streaming Saturday. But um, you all take care. Um, as always, let me know if there's any games that you want to play. I just or want to see. Um, but uh, yeah, like this, I've just been playing this game because it's fun and adorable and it was something that I, I thought would work kind of well at least. Um, I will say I've been playing XCOM 2. That's a fun one. I don't know if it's really good for streaming. It's not the best for sure. Um, it would be good for a longer stream. But either way, uh, you all can think about it. Let me know what you, you come up with, if anything. <laughs> we get dragged out to Renfest. I, I'm just saying, if if I end up going to Renfest again, I'm going to end up buying more stuff. <laughs> it's a, a horrible, horrible idea. All right, but everybody take care, stay safe, be well, and I will hopefully see you all on Saturday.